On Monday, I signed an executive order uh, making all uh, Pennsylvania workers, Commonwealth uh, workers, subject to a minimum wage of $10.15. I also uh, added that to new contracts moving forward, uh, people working for contractors to the Commonwealth. This is a first step in trying to get broad-based minimum wage, wage increase for all Pennsylvanians. I need the legislature to do this. I started with what I could do with an executive order. Sadly, this week, six people were killed Wednesday night in Wilkinsburg. Six people were killed uh, Monday night in, in Philadelphia. The problem with gun violence in urban areas uh, continues for Pennsylvania. We need to get our arms around this. We need to do something to address the, the menace of urban violence. Uh, I have proposed in my budget uh, full support for education, mental health, uh, and the things that, that we need to do to make the lives of people uh, in these areas uh, better. Uh, we cannot continue to countenance this kind of violence anywhere in Pennsylvania. I continue to push for the legalization of medical marijuana. I think doctors ought to have the right to prescribe the drugs they believe are most uh, efficacious for their, their patients. And I applaud uh, Republican Majority Leader Reid, the House of Representatives, for deciding to push this forward. As you know, passed, a bill passed the uh, Senate uh, with broad bipartisan support and the hope is it will do the same thing in the House and it reaches my desk, I will sign it. The state employee retirement system and the uh, teacher's retirement system both made a good first step in reducing Wall Street fees this week uh, in announcing that they had reduced fees by about almost $120 million. This was a first and important first step uh, to making government work or uh, making our government work more efficiently. Continue to, to stand uh, uh, for a responsible budget uh, here in Harrisburg. And by responsible, I understand that, that we need to, to have a debate over policies and priorities, but there should be no debate over whether we balance the budget. Two paths. One, we keep doing what we're doing, and that's the status quo, and that leads us down to higher property taxes and uh, uh, money taken out of our schools and money taken out of our human services and local municipalities. Or we do what I propose in my budget, which is a modest uh, revenue uh, increase in pen at, at the state level, uh, $3.17 uh, a week if you're making $50,000 a year. Uh, and for that, we get a balanced budget and we get schools that actually stay open and educators that continue to do what we need them to do, human services that do what we need them to do at the local levels uh, to make this commonwealth great.